All right, so I had to restart, and then OBS wouldn't start, and then the camera wouldn't start, and I had to update my drivers, and I had to do all these things, so just got to rip through this and hope that we don't get another crash. Recap! Oh, God. All right, so... Um, let's see. This week, this week, this week. Um, I learned a thing, and I finally got some old software. I tried messing around with it in, like, April sometime, and it just wouldn't work for me. But I got it working, and since then, I have been ripping the arm, the left arms off of a bunch of virtual characters so that I may use them in virtual spaces. Because, again... I only really have one functioning controller. But I'll go into all of that in a later video. A new camera is on the way. That's exciting. But can't do much about that until it's here. So back to the battery, the one attached to the skateboard. Um. This thing. So after much plugging in and rolling things around and blinking, I resolved, turn that off, I resolved to attempt a hard reset. So my other options are sending I think it has to go as an entire unit, but sending this off to someone else to fix with money I don't have, or buying another battery entirely with money that I barely have, or find myself right back here and tinkering away and avoiding electrical, electrically shocking my fingers. So... Here we are, and wow, was I not ready for this challenge. First, and most superficially, had to find the right tools. They are just all over the place. Um, hex keys tend to vanish quite easy under trays and in crevices. Second, I heard put that down. Second is I heard Boosted used a silicone to help sort of secure the lid like a glue. So imagine the screws were falling out for some reason. These screws. Imagine they were falling out for some reason and even then the lid would hold tight for a while, which doesn't really make sense to me because it's it attaches this way so that the bottom is here and then this is against the skateboard so even if these screws were to come loose this board is held to the skateboard by these three so I guess it's more waterproofing maybe I don't know but in any case it sounds great very solid, and once the screws are have been taken out, um, it makes phase two a nightmare. Removing this panel. So the silicone holds everything together very well, and so that means that the process of prying it open is just... It's horrendous. It's a nightmare. And so far, that's as far as I got. I knew my experience itself was going to run out of daylight by the time that I actually got the silicone seal to, like, give a little bit and actually allow me to peel this lid off. So I just put the screws back in and said, you know what, I'm going to hold off on this for another day. And so that's where I'm at there.
And beyond that, that's about it. I have to figure out what was happening earlier this evening because it's now like one in the morning or something. And I just had to do all this stuff with the graphics driver and figure out why OBS was yelling at me. And then my camera like wasn't connected. So I had to unplug and replug it. But obviously everything worked out. Otherwise, you'd be getting a little cell phone video. So with that, thank you for checking in. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'll see you in the next recap. Bye.